So with the current speculation, the future of Planet Zoo and the next DLCs, I thought what I'd do is I'd add my thoughts and opinions and just share my current wish list with you guys, just to kind of see how other people are taking this information. I know I've seen quite a few of these pop up. So this is just my personal wish list on the animals that I would like to see in the game. So the first one on my list is the Spectacled Bear, otherwise known as the Andean Bear. So this is a South American bear. I was absolutely gutted that this one was missed out of the South American Animals pack. I personally feel this would have made a really, really, really good appearance if it was in there. I know in real life, Chester Zoo have these. They've got two separate enclosures. They've got one opposite the capybaras and one in the spirit of the jaguar. And I'm not 100% sure if any other zoos in the UK do have the Spectacled Bear. But when I have personally seen these at Chester Zoo, they are fantastic climbers. The one that I saw was quite high up in one of the trees and everyone was kind of looking around the enclosure and I just saw it out the corner of my eye. And it was literally just chilling in the tree, watching everyone. It was probably thinking like, guys, you're looking in the wrong place. But I really do feel like the current climbing mechanics in the game would complement this animal. I also feel as well we could have like a really cool kind of enrichment item. So similar to the one, I believe it's for the koalas, which is like a feeding tree. You could have something similar where the bears can kind of climb up and it would have like, I don't know, some form of sap on the tree, which the bears could kind of climb up, sit with and just kind of get their enrichment from. But obviously I know currently we have a couple of bears in the game, but I don't think we have enough. So I know we've got obviously polar bears from the Arctic pack, the Himalayan brown bear, uh, the Formosan black bear, grizzly bear, and the recently added sloth bear, and then the sun bear, which sun bear is my absolute favorite. But I really do feel like the spectacle bear would make a really, really good addition to the game, because you could have like an Andes kind of style area, kind of South American vibes. And I just think it would make a really, really good, good addition. I also believe as well, the Andean bear forward slash spectacle bear is the last species of short nosed bear. I might be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure I read that last time I went to Chester Zoo. Okay, so the second animal on my list is none other than the Red Howler Monkey, which is also known as the Colombian Howler Monkey, because this is South American monkey from the Colombia area. So I honestly think these would make a really, really, really good addition. Again, it's another one missed out on the South American animal pack. It would have been really good to have that in there. I also think these would make good primates to have in any zoo with them being howler monkeys obviously they make a lot of different sounds i feel like you could kind of have similar to what i mentioned previously about the andean area within like a south american like sector in your zoo you could kind of have like a walkthrough where you've got like for example howler monkeys on one side the bears on the other and you can kind of hear the howler monkeys howling as such but yeah, I really do think they would make a really, really good addition. I have seen these once in real life, and that is at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. So again, they're in Yorkshire Wildlife Park's South American area. So they're opposite the Amazonas Explorer walkthrough. They also share a habitat with the giant anteaters. They do have two giant anteaters which are separated, and one of the giant anteaters does live with the red howler monkeys. When I was there yesterday, they were quite active. They're always in the trees always running around, um, they try and aggravate the anteater as such, but he doesn't seem to mind. I think he's probably used to the little baby kind of dangling down and seeing what he's doing. But yeah, that's my, uh, my second animal and I really do hope these guys arrive in the game at some point. Okay, so third animal in my list is the Tamandua. So this is another species, well not another species as such, it's a, it is an anteater, but it's more of a climbing anteater if that makes sense. So. I've seen these guys at Chester Zoo before. They are pretty cool. When I've seen them, they've not been overly active. I don't know whether they are nocturnal or not, or they might be diurnal, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I think these guys would make a really good addition. I feel like with the, the kind of tree I said earlier for the spectacled bear as an enrichment item, you could kind of have like an adaptation and have kind of bug holes in there and kind of like food, like a tree feeder of that makes sense so obviously with them being anteaters they use their tongue to kind of get stuff out of like termite mounds or holes in like wood and stuff i feel like if that was like adapted to the like feed tree as such 
that would make a really really cool enrichment item for guests to look at so i have seen these guys at chester do like i say the enclosure they have isn't my favorite i'm not sure if there's anything i've show for them but they don't have an awful lot of space they are a lot smaller than giant anteaters so they probably don't require space obviously in planet zoo you can go as wild as you want you could probably mix these with giant anteaters as well you could have like a little anteater enclosure and have these two so you could have the giant anteater on the floor and the tamandua up in the trees i think that'd be pretty cool and i do think we're missing out on something like that as such as an animal and i do feel like these guys would make a really really good addition and they could fill kind of little spaces in sandbox mode zoos or if you're looking for a gap filler in franchise these guys would probably be your answer okay so my fourth animal in this list i'm actually quite surprised these aren't in the game already because they are quite common around uk zoos i think the majority of zoos that i've been to already have these but the fourth animal is the bush dog it's another south american animal so the likes of chester zoo twy cross zoo although i think the twy cross zoo ones have moved on and yorkshire wildlife park i know marwell's got them I think pretty much most zoos in the UK do have these guys, but they are very small. They've got tiny little stumpy legs and they look, they just look like a kind of domestic dog, but obviously I wouldn't treat it like a domestic dog. So I'll probably, probably rip your hands off with them being small, but they do look quite mighty. But I really do feel like these would make a good addition as well. So obviously following the, the theme of the new world pack, Obviously South America is classed as New World, so majority of these so far have been South American animals. The bush dog as well, I feel like that would make a good enclosure at the start of the zoo. So similar to Yorkshire Wildlife Park, it's the first enclosure you see as soon as you walk through the gates. So it's on your left, you kind of walk around and they've got quite a big, big area. Obviously every animal at Yorkshire Wildlife Park has got a massive enclosure, so they do pride themselves on that. But yeah, I do feel like it would make a really good entrance style animal. The small, they walk around a lot in packs and yeah, that's pretty much it. I know the ones at Chester Zoo, I think they're off show at the minute because I think one of these spectacle bears has taken up their, their enclosure until they get the other two, well, the other one paired up as such. So I'm not quite sure what will happen with the ones at Chester. I presume they are. They're still on site somewhere, I think, but I'm hoping they come back because they were in the um, Spirit of the Jaguar. They had quite a lot of them as well, so whether they'll be dispersed onto breeding programs or stuff, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I think with this one, like I say, I'm honestly surprised these guys aren't already in the game, and I would really like to see these ones in, so Frontier, if you're watching, please make that happen. Okay, so my fifth animal to make it onto this list is the Patagonia Mara, otherwise just known as the Mara. I haven't personally seen these at many zoo. Again, it's another one that Yorkshire Wildlife Park have in their walkthrough area. The area that you're looking for if you want to go see them is the South American Amazonas Explorers. So it's quite a refreshed one. I don't know what it used to be called before. I think it was South American Viva previously. But in this enclosure, they have capybaras, Capuchins, I believe, tamarins, maras, and agoutis. But they all live together, they all thrive together, they're completely fine. But I really do feel like the Patagonia Mara would make a really, really good addition. Because not only is it a walkthrough animal, obviously, guests can go in, but I could picture this being in like kind of a petting zoo as such. So if people are doing like mini zoos, you could have like a capybara, mara, those kind of animals in in a walkthrough enclosure and I feel like that would really really go well in the game so I feel like these guys would would be a really good addition to add at this point okay so the sixth animal in my list would be the blue crane I would personally imagine this would be quite an easy one for Frontier to actually implement I would imagine they'd use the existing model and animations of the red crown crane obviously changing behaviors to the blue crown but I imagine the model and the movements and the figure and stuff are already in the game. So I guess it's just a quick, simple remodel kind of thing. Changing it up, obviously, these might have different enrichment items. They'll have different needs, obviously, being from different areas. But it's just a simple one. It's another bird that we desperately need in the game. So that is my sixth one. 
Okay, so the seventh animal I would love to see introduced to the game, and it's a very bold one, but it's the bold eagle. I think this would give Frontier a very good opportunity to kind of dip their feet into the whole Avery style. I think if they were to probably do another pack after this, I would personally like to see the final pack be an Avery's. And I feel like if they introduced the Bold Eagle in the next pack, this would give them kind of like an opportunity to dip their feet in, work out how the Avery's are going to work and kind of get feedback from the community just having one out there at the minute and then they can build on that feedback and make a whole Avery pack which would be beneficial to everyone I think. Okay so the eighth animal I want to add into this list is the Ocelot. I believe this is a very highly requested animal. It's a medium sized cat from South America and I feel like this would go absolutely perfect into a new world animal pack. I know the frequent theme throughout this has been South America but obviously I've added a few little twists and turns but the majority is South America but we've already got a South American animals pack and New World Animal Pack covers the South American region as such. So yes I really think the Ocelot would make an absolutely amazing addition to the game. It's a smaller cat, it's probably similar size to let's say the Lynx I would imagine. So kind of smaller enclosures would be good in zoos and I do think the game is desperately missing this one so I would really like to see that one. Okay, so that concludes the base animals for the pack. So what I want to do now is I just want to hop on and just kind of talk about potential exhibits and stuff. I feel like some of the exhibits could be quite exciting. So here's the exhibits. So the first exhibit I would love to see included in a new pack would be Macaws, whether that be the standard one or the blue throated ones or the two that you see on the image there. I think these would be absolutely amazing in kind of like a walkthrough style enclosure. I can just kind of picture them having like high perches where they can sit and they're flying above the guests in like an Avery style thing. So I know you can kind of make an Avery already with the walkthrough stuff. But I think these would be absolutely amazing in a walkthrough environment. And I feel like they'd work really well and they'd give us just a little bit of a taster for if we were to get an Avery pack later on down the line. Okay, so my second one is the Rainbow Lorikeet. So these are commonly found around zoos in the UK. I'm not sure about elsewhere in the world, but in the UK, I think majority of zoos have these. They are quite a, a forward bird as such. They do like to come and interact with people. I know when I've been to Twycross, they've got a whole kind of building dedicated to lorikeets. And I'm not the massive fan of birds landing on me, but they are quite confident and they will come and land on you. So I tend to just skip skip that area out because like I said I'm not a massive fan of birds in real life. In game completely fine because they don't flap around and frighten me to death but yes I think rainbow lorikeets would work really well. Like I say similar style to what I said about the macaws. They could have a walkthrough exhibit, have a couple in there flying around, guests can interact with them and it could also purchase like little nectar cups as well outside to give the guests more of like a interactive style thing and the lorikeets can kind of come down and you can see the guests feeding them the nectar I think that'd be pretty cool in game whether that can happen or not I'm not 100% sure but I feel like that would make a really good addition okay so the next exhibit I would really like to see is the praying mantis I feel like being somebody who has kept praying mantises in the past and still open to keeping them now I feel like we are desperately missing these in game they are quite fun animals, they can't be kept in pairs unless it's a communal species like the ghost mantis but kind of just like a standard giant Asian mantis would go really really well in game for an exhibit. It wouldn't, wouldn't go amiss if you had it inside like a reptile house or something. I can just kind of picture it being similar to the Malayan leaf cutter I believe. So yeah I think prey mantis is definitely something I would like to see. Okay so the last one I'm not 100% sure how this would work. But I know in Yorkshire Wildlife Park, for example, I know I've used them as an example quite a lot, but they do have tamarins in a walkthrough exhibit. And I feel like mini monkeys or tamarins, smaller capuchins, that kind of thing, would go really, really well in a walkthrough exhibit. You could have like a similar kind of cage with ropes and stuff above the path going through the middle, the little tamarins running around, whether it's the emperor tamarin or the cotton top tamarin could be similar kind of style to like how they did the butterflies with different kind of morphs. I feel like that would be pretty cool and I guess the different morphs could also apply to praying mantises as well in the exhibits. 
Um, I personally found with the variants of animals in the game, it's it's kind of lacking. I know obviously we've got two different types of tigers, but I would like to see like the Sumatran tiger, for example, or I'd like to see like the Asiatic lion. But unfortunately, we don't have that option at the moment. Whether that's something that will come in the future, I'm not 100% sure. But my last exhibit for this wish list would be the Tamarin. Like I say, I think it'd be really, really cool. They are quite quite shy animals, I think. When I've seen them, they've not really come close to people. They've kind of just stayed on their perches eating. The keeper's been quite interactive with them. But I think it would be a really, really good walkthrough enclosure for any zoo. So that is my final one. So I hope you have enjoyed that list. So what I'll do is I just want to talk a little bit more about the future of Planet Zoo. Um, talk about the survey that they sent out this week as well just have like a bit of a, a chilled out chat time just to kind of discuss my thoughts and feelings going forwards okay so the future of planet zoo i personally think but then again i'm still i'm a little bit on the fence i don't know whether this will be our last dlc or if we will have another one or two maybe but it's looking more likely this is going to be the final dlc um, you can kind of see from the survey the shift in their focus more to future games so putting two and two together i would imagine whatever we get next will be not so much the end of planet zoo but it will be the end of development for planet zoo this in two ways doesn't upset me it does quite excite me because once the game is finalized as such i would like to start playing around with mods so if there's any animals that have been missed you can add them through in mods i have tried it once before but i don't fully understand the concept at the moment i know there's different install and stuff that you have to do but it's not not something i want i feel comfortable playing around with at the moment with the updates and new packs coming out because you've got to update it each time so i think if the next pack we get will be the final one then that opens kind of like a channel for me to do like more mods play around with the mods and just have the animals that i personally think are missing i think that'll be quite fun going forwards I know quite a lot of people do that once uh, a game's kind of come to the end of its development run they'll play around with mods and then hopefully more people will come onto the bandwagon because i know i think it's leaf productions makes quite a lot of really really good mods there is a website called nexus mods as well where you download them from there's plenty of videos on youtube on how to install and how to find the planet zoo one so if you want to check those out that would be cool and i know i say all the time that i'm quite new to the planet zoo or playing Planet Zoo. I have been following the game for a little bit longer, it's just I've never had PC to play it. I've always been Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. So previously I was playing like Planet Coaster and stuff, and it's always been one of my wish lists to kind of jump on and play Planet Zoo. So I bit the bullet, got a pretty decent PC set up, and been playing it for about six months now. So it is a bit weird for me to kind of make these videos. Obviously, I wasn't there from the start, but picking up from where I am at the moment and using what I've got my kind of knowledge that I've got at the minute to make these videos um, I think it's quite good probably for people to hear it from like a newer player rather than like an old school OG player because I'm obviously nowhere near that I'm completely new school been playing just over six months but yes I definitely hope we do get more packs is that likely I'm not 100% sure but I would personally like to see probably two more packs so yeah, pretty much. Let me know what you think below. Do you think Planet Zoo is at the end of its life or do you reckon we've got more in store? Let me know down below and thank you for this one and I'll see you on the next one.